Okay, so uh, now we move on to activity number three, which is to do with uh, web authoring software. So uh, on the question paper over here, it says you may use any appropriate software for this activity. Uh, so I will be using Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 uh, to complete this activity. So it says over here, Duncan's Villa Hotel Group has a website that includes information about the hotels. The homepage of the website is index.html. Okay, so the address of homepage is index.html. So I think this is important information. Let's highlight it. Okay, we need to keep this in mind. Frederick wants to add web pages about a tourist attraction near each hotel. The web pages will be saved as sorry, will be saved as London, Hong Kong, and Chennai. Okay, so you have now understood that three web pages need to be created London, Hong Kong, and Chennai. The web pages must be based on this design. So over here the design has been given. So if you look at this in the form of a table, uh, you can consider this uh, we can consider it as one column, two column, and three columns. We can consider it as three columns and first row, second row. Yeah. So three columns and two rows should be enough to get this layout. Okay. And then on the right hand side, it has also been mentioned that the background color should be pale yellow and the text color should remain dark blue. So let's highlight that as well. Okay. Then it says use the logo you created in task AG1. Information about a tourist attraction near each hotel is stored in tourist. So you need to have this file tourist. Uh, yes, I do have this file with me. And uh, when I open it up, yes, I can see this is the subheading for Chennai. This is the text. Subheading for Hong Kong, text. Subheading for London and the text. Okay, so you two should be having this file and you will be taking the content from that file okay it says over here create web pages using the layout shown in the design create a web page for the london hotel save the web page as london okay so i'm going to be using dreamweaver cs6 over here let me open it up still loading Okay, so I have Dreamweaver opened up and I'm gonna go for a blank HTML document. And okay, so the first thing that I am going to going to do is to get the layout sorted. I'm gonna get this layout first and thereafter I'll be putting the content into it. So I told you it's one column, two columns, three columns and two rows. So how do we do that? We come to insert and we come to table. Okay, and over here we say we want two rows and three columns. I'm going to keep my table with at 100%. So 100% means it will fit the screen of any device. Whether you're looking at it from a desktop PC, from a tablet, from a smartphone, it doesn't matter. It will fit the entire screen. That is what 100% means. Okay, make sure it's not pixels, it is in percentage. Then in terms of borders, I do not want any borders to be there on my table. If you do want, you can make it one or two, depending on how thick you want the border to be. I'm gonna keep borders at zero. And then I'm going to click on OK. And now my table has been created. Uh, now let me start merging the cells that need to be merged. Now, for example, if you look at the first row, the first column is all right. But the second column and third column need to be merged. So let me select the second column and third column. So with a mouse, I selected both those columns. And now I'm going to right click table and I'm going to go with merge cells. Keep in mind, you have the shortcut key, which is Control Alt M. OK. Uh, when you go on to the second row, you can see the first column and second column of the second row have been merged. So let me do that as well. S first column, second column, I selected with the mouse, right click, uh, table, merge cells. Okay. Now, since I have done the merging, now I think it's time for me to start entering the data. So let's start with logo. So they told me to use the logo I created in task AG1. So the logo we used in task AG1 was DHG logo. I hope you do remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C and come over here, control V. So what happened? Control V. So before I paste it, the computer is giving me a reminder or rather Dreamweaver is giving me a reminder to first save my document so that an address for this image can be created. I'm just going to say OK. And thereafter it's asking me, do you want to put alternate text in case the image doesn't load? You can display some text. So I'll just say DHG logo and say, okay. 
so obviously you can see the logo is way too big so from the corners while holding onto the shift key why am i holding onto the shift key so that the image will become proportionally small okay when i resize it it will proportionally yeah okay now it will proportionally change its size okay so i was holding onto the shift key while resizing it then over here now i can make this obviously very much more smaller there you go and over here the company name needs to appear so we do know that the company name is duncan's villa hotel group so control c and let's come over here control v this is the main heading of your web page so it has to be heading number one so let's right click paragraph format and go for heading number one the next thing is you need to have the page title image and text content of the page and as you can see over here it's all uh, center aligned okay so what i'll do is i'll first center uh, keep the cursor here i mean click on this cell then right click over here align center now that i have the uh, the, uh, the cursor in the center let me copy and paste the information so i'm starting off with london so um, page title image and then the text content isn't it so let me copy this entire thing control c control v okay so this is a subheading let me make this heading number two this is a sub subheading let me take it one bit down and make it heading number three let's select this and make it heading number three and then in between the two the image needs to appear so go into your folder go into your images folder and let's look at London London is over here so control C to copy and come over here control V once again you are being reminded to save your file you can click on OK alternate text I'll simply say uh, Big Ben okay because this picture is rep representing Big Ben so in case the image does not load this text will be displayed so I say OK and the image has been uh, pasted then in this final cell you can see it says link to the home page and three tourist attraction pages and also you can see that it is center aligned so what i'll do over here is right click align center now that i have my uh, cursor blinking in the center i'm going to type home then we have london then we have uh, hong kong and finally we have chennai okay so the home page and the three other tourist attraction sites obviously this is way too big let's keep the cursor over here and make it smaller okay that's much better <coughs> uh, then the question goes on to say links okay it says links to the home page so you've got to create those links so what I'm going to do over here is I do I do hope you remember at the beginning of this question they told us the home page of the website is index.html so when the user clicks on home he should be directed to index.html so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text and then right at the bottom if you can follow my cursor we have something called link over here so I can type over here index.html and press enter so now the word home has been linked to index.html I'm also going to create the links for the other pages as well even though these web pages have not been created yet now for example London I have not yet saved it Hong Kong I have not yet even created it Chennai I have not yet created it but before creating it before or before saving London I am going to create the hyperlink so once I save the file automatically the file will get connected to its respective hyperlink let me show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select London and then in the hyperlink area you can see there is a folder button right so I'm gonna uh, tell the computer when I click on London go to a specific location and look for the file London okay so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna tell my computer <coughs> sorry go into the 2015 folder and somewhere over here there will be a file called london.html okay so now just to remind you again I have not yet saved london.html but before saving it I'm creating the hyperlink so when I do actually save this London file it will automatically get connected with this hyperlink okay I hope you're able to follow so I have told my computer when the user clicks on London go into the 2015 folder and look for a file called london.html okay and thereafter I'm going to click on OK again it's reminding me save your file first say OK so I'm going to do the same thing for Hong Kong as well okay I'm going to click over here I'm going to tell my computer go to the 2015 folder and look for Hong space 
hongkong.html. So you need to keep in mind when you're saving your Hong Kong web page, you need to save it in the exact name Hong space Kong. Okay, you may not need to put .html because Dreamweaver will put it for you on its own. Okay, so I can say okay. Again, reminding me to save. The same thing for Chennai as well. Right click. Oh, let's just uh, select it from over here and say 2015 folder go to chennai.html and say okay okay so the hyperlinks have now been created there is yet one more thing that needs to be done which is this area where the background color and the text color needs to be changed so to do that what you can do is you can see at the bottom we have something called page properties or what you can do is you can come to modify and you have page properties shortcut key is control j okay so once you come to page properties you will have properties that control the entire web page okay so what I need right now is the text color needs to be dark blue and uh, text color needs to be dark blue and the background needs to be pale yellow so something like this okay so once you have done that you can go ahead and click on apply and say okay so now whatever needs to be done for the London web page you have done so you can go ahead and save this as London so let's go ahead and click on save and make sure you go into your 2015 folder and save this as London okay so why I do not put dot HTML because my computer is already doing that for me I don't need to manually type dot HTML and I click on save now the first web page has been created the London web page has been created now thereafter you need to create a web page for you need to create a web page for Hong Kong and then you need to create a web page for Chennai now something to understand over here is for Hong Kong also we are going to use the same layout the same hyperlinks the only thing that is going to change is this area you get it for the Hong Kong web page the layout is going to be same the logo is going to be same the heading is going to be the same the hyperlinks are going to be the same the only thing that changes is this area is going to change so instead of creating your Hong Kong page from scratch what you can simply do is make a copy of this web page so what you can do is you can come to file save as which is basically you're creating a copy of it and save this copy as Hong Kong okay you can save this copy as Hong Kong okay so now if you if you just look at the top where my cursor is you have a London web page and you now have a Hong Kong web page so now what you do is you change the wording let's delete all this delete and let's change the wording to Hong Kong okay so control C control V okay this is my subheading so it will be heading number two this will be heading number three and I'm going to keep a small gap in between for my image which is over here control C control V alternate text I'm just going to simply say or we can say Victoria and say okay okay so your Hong Kong page is also done that fast okay we have put the content the layout remains the same the hyperlinks are the same the heading is the same the logo is the same so you can just resave it again okay so the second part has also been done okay now you need to move on to the Chennai page okay so once again we just make a copy of it save as and we save this as Chennai okay so now if you look at the top we have three web pages we have the London web page the Hong Kong web page and the Chennai web page okay so over here once again we will need to change the content only so let's delete that before we do that there is a small thing that says include the image show you saved in part a of task ag2 okay so uh, the image show is over here okay so I need to take this image okay let me first copy the content control C uh, and control V this is heading number two this is heading number three okay let's keep a gap in between and let's go and get our image show control C control V alternate text I'll simply say temple say okay so now the image has been inserted and immediately you can see a problem the image is too big you need to make the image smaller so you can scroll down and come to the corners and make it smaller 
or what you can do is instead of trying to find and all that you can simply click on the image and at the bottom you have been given the width and height okay so you can see this padlock symbol it shows that it is it is locked which means whatever value you change it will proportionally change if you change the width the height will accordingly change okay that's a good thing if you do not want it to proportionally change you can just click on this and unlock the padlock i want it to proportionally change so i'm going to keep the padlock locked and i'm just going to make this i'm going to just make it 267 enter so automatically this becomes 300 and uh, let's just double click on the border so that the image auto fits okay let's double click on this border image is too small let's make it around uh, 900 maybe or oh, 900 is also too big let's make it 500 okay let's double click okay that looks much better okay so now you have done your Chennai web page as well okay the t heading is there the image is there the text is there the hyperlinks are there okay so then it says save your web page as Chennai let's just resave it we have already saved it under Chennai then the question paper goes on to say make sure that your web pages are fit for purpose okay so just have a quick look at it what you can do is you can come to your uh, folder you can do a refresh and then just open let's start with London just open up your web page uh, let me show you how it looks okay so this is how your web page looks looks fine it's readable the colors are correct the image is big enough let's check is the uh, is the uh, home page working yes it's going to index.html so that's quite fine then let's go to Hong Kong Hong Kong is working from Hong Kong let's go to Chennai Chennai is also working okay so so far it seems to be all right okay so this do not get the scan I mean do not worry when this comes up it will come up because there is no such thing as index.html okay our past paper just said to put that address and we have done exactly that okay uh, moving on to back to the question paper it says open a new document using word processing software enter task wa1 your name candidate number center number in the foot of the document and save the document as task wa1 okay so let's do that uh, let's come to our folder right click new word document task wa1 let's open it up and uh, okay go to the footer and let's put task wa1 your name your candidate number and your center number okay that's also done then the question paper goes on to say uh, for each of the three web pages display the web page on the screen make sure all content is visible take a screenshot of the web page paste a screenshot into task wa1 so let me do that so let me come to my website I'm gonna take a screenshot starting with London print screen and uh, I'm gonna come here control V and then I'm gonna go on to the Hong Kong web page print screen and uh, come over here and paste it okay so I hope hope all of you all do know about the print screen button okay uh, near the function key you will find a button called PRTSCR that's your print screen button it will take a screenshot of your screen and another one here print screen and uh, I'm gonna come over here and paste it okay now say for example if you are unable to get all the information on one page if you're unable to get all the information into one screenshot what you can do is you can try zooming out don't zoom out too much okay Zo try to you know zoom out so that everything will be visible just control minus and try to you know get everything in one screenshot okay uh, control plus minus is the shortcut key for zooming out okay so once you are done with that uh, make sure that all of the content of each web page is clearly visible resave task wa1 print task wa1 so what you can do is you can resave it and then control p uh, and you can go ahead and click on print document okay they haven't told anything about it fitting one a4 paper so you do not need to worry about that okay so we just have one more small part remaining and then we'll be coming to the end of web authoring as well okay so in the next video we'll continue the second part of web authoring